Hi guys, welcome to Origin. I want to talk about this study that says that atheists are less trusted than rapists. I want to start by crediting the amazing atheist in his last video for introducing me to this study, so I'll link both the channel and the video in the, in the description. Now TJ briefly commented on how the study was carried out, the question that was asked, and he did say that it was very bizarre and there were problems with the methodology. That's an understatement. Based off of what I've seen, and I've not been able to find the original study, but I personally find it disturbing that this even got published. I'll link the study down below so you can read it for yourself, or, well, the article that describes the study. But basically they got 350 American participants, 420 Canadian participants, and they asked this question. If a fictional driver damaged a parked car and left the scene, then found a wallet, then took the money out of the wallet. Was this driver more likely to be a teacher, an atheist teacher, or a rapist teacher? Now certainly, as TJ said, the inclusion of the teacher element in this is very strange. But that's the least of this study's problems. First off, the question is phrased, is the driver more likely to be one of those three options? The worst thing about this study is that it, logically speaking, has a correct answer. Let me explain what I mean by that. Let's say that this sellotape is a pie chart. Now, this pie chart represents all teachers. Now, some percentage of those teachers are going to be atheists, let's say, based on the kind of statistics available for America, that's about 20%, something like that. Now, another percentage of those teachers, where the, there, might, there might be some overlap, will also be rapists. Let's just take a hypothetical number here, I've got nothing to go on, so let's say point 2%. The numbers don't really matter, but the point is, atheist teachers are a subset of teachers, rapist teachers are a subset of teachers. Therefore, the correct answer to this question, which is more likely, is that the driver was simply a teacher. Of the three possible options, they're more likely to be a teacher rather than something which represents something more specific than a teacher. What if the participants answered the question that way? Now you might say, well according to the study, atheist teacher was the most popular choice. But this isn't a problem because it's been demonstrated in the past that people are quite bad at this question. They, they don't seem to realise that an atheist teacher will necessarily be less likely than a teacher because there will be less atheist teachers than teachers. I briefly tried to find these studies between cuts without much luck, but if I do find it, I'll put it in the, in the description as well. There's another problem with the study, arguably an even greater one, and that's that it doesn't set out to actually answer the question that it claims to be answering, i.e. it doesn't really show us which group is least trusted. For example, it's very likely that a participant's thought process went like this. Hmm, well, they took the money. Which is obviously very untrustworthy. But they've only stolen something. They haven't attacked anyone, they haven't been violent. If they were a rapist teacher, it's very likely they would have done something worse. So, we're not going to go that far. They're untrustworthy, but not that untrustworthy, so let's go with Atheist Teacher. Because we all know atheists are untrustworthy, aren't they? So, in conclusion, who published this? Thank you for watching, goodbye.